The Lord said to me, he said, this year, there will be reward. Reward for the righteous, for those that wait upon the Lord. Not for the one that call himself, that been deceiving people by the name of the Lord Jesus. And the second thing the Lord said to me, he said, more will be exposed. A lot of people that they have been using my name to rob people. To collect to collect property from the from the, from the owner, they are using my name to, to rob others, to rob my people, to rob the righteous. He said he's going to expose them. And number three, the Lord said to me, He said, "I am the strength of the earth and heaven." I have said it again in program like this. People, you can pay your title. It is not only your pastor. It is not only the church. He can pay for the widows and to the Levite and to the orphanage. It's another very beautiful, lovely moment again in the city of Lagos in Nigeria as we meet the man of God and the seer again. We're in a very brand new year, 2020, and in our normal tradition, we've been going around to seek the opinions of men of God on the goodness and the goodies that God has for his children in the year, and especially on what the children of God need to do and to also raise some other issues that are presently be seeking or presently uh, going on in the Christendom in Nigeria and elsewhere. And to the glory of God, after chasing him for like two, three weeks now, we are in his ambience. The man of God, the apostolic man himself, Prophet Shepherd, Samson, Omodede, we thank God for this man, and we thank God when we had yesterday, that is eight told us that we we're going to meet him, we are so happy. And today, despite the challenges of the day, he has given us the time to speak with him on raging issues in the Christendom and year 2020. Daddy, we are very privileged to be with you, sir. In fact, a good day, sir. We are, we are so happy after our proposal you have accepted to talk to us again uh, let's start by asking you that why have we been so busy we've been trying to reach you from january 1st and uh, uh, i think today is uh, january 13 and uh, the year is the year is almost going the month is still young too so how have it been and what do you think we have for 2020 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. 2020 is a year of my testimony and your testimony. It's a year that the Lord has vowed to bless people that wait upon the Lord. You mean the righteous? The righteous. It's the time that the Almighty said he's going to bless the righteous. And he's going to bless the work of their hand. And we're not going to put them into shame any longer. He said he's going to take the wicked one away. And he will take the righteous at the top. We elevate the righteous. He will elevate the righteous because the righteous, they are wait upon the Lord. Mm. Are you listening to me? They have wait upon the Lord. They have suffering and they have wait upon the Lord with long suffering. Mm. And the Lord said this year, 2020, is going to be the year of the righteous. But because, people. Yeah, because last year, during, in, in the middle of last year, you told us that 2019 is going to be the years of expose of fake prophets and fake men of God. You, you said practically that they are going to be disgraced, humiliated, and thrown into the gutter. So, did we really achieve that in 2019, sir? Yes. Look at what, all that has happened. We all see what has happened all over the world. 
not only in Nigeria alone, abroad. There are some pastors that they are faking it. And there are some pastors, the God does not call them. They call themselves. Right, the pastor. They expose. The pastor in America was caught licking the cunt of a woman. I mean, licking the private part passionately. And even Pastor Benny Hinn, it was last year he declared that uh, that the Holy Spirit did not send him to be collecting money from people that is want to change. And it was last year that some of these prophets, they will go to Ikore and there will be crisis everywhere, gun shooting. Even they will do their own in Korea and people will be dying and all sort of things. And a lot of fake prophets who have so much name. Yes, last year they met their Waterloo, including the one in Bini who ran mad and later died. And a lot of them. So, this year, are we going to see more of that? Oh, yes. The Lord says something to me. Three things which I will not lie. The Lord said to me, he said, this year, there will be reward. Reward for the righteous, for those that wait upon the Lord. Not for the one that call himself, that been deceiving people by the name of the Lord Jesus. And the second thing the Lord said to me, he said, more will be exposed. A lot of people that they have been using my name to rob people. To collect to collect property from the from the, from the owner, they are using my name to, to rob others, to rob my people, to rob the righteous. He said he's going to expose them. And number three, the Lord said to me, He said I am the strength of the earth and heaven. He said he will say he will say who is your strength. So I'm going to ask a question, and I'm going to ask. People in the house, who is your strength? Did you want to take your pastor, your strength? Did you want to take your shepherd, your strength? Did you want to take a prophet, a fake prophet that is sleeping with you, your strength? Why can't you take God as your strength this year? So that the God of Almighty can elevate you. So that he can let everything be well with you. So that you will not be you running here and there to meet other gods. So that other gods will not put into shame this year. Because this year is a year of what the Lord has promised his people that is going to reward them. This year is a year of reward. And it's a year of expose. And it's a year of who is your strength. A year of who is your strength. Yes, who is your strength. You have to show who your strength is, if it's the Lord or the devil. That is just it. Because according to the book of Psalm, Psalm 28, verse 7, he said, the Lord is my strength and my shade is the one that I will trust in the time of what? In the time of trouble. Is the one I will trust in the time of help and in the time of trouble. Who is your strength in the time of trouble? And in the time that you need help, some people have taken their shepherd as their strength, they are help, and they are not helping them. For them to help their home, the home is scattering. Look at what is happening. You see divorcing in all over sea, Nigeria, in abroad, in all, all this country. You have been hearing a different, a, a lot of divorce in the Christendom. Yeah. What can we do about it for this thing to reduce? It's only prayer. It's only to tackle all the fake prophet. Is we need to say we need to stand in truth. We need to we need to stand together. So we need to stand up. Yes, we need to stand up together and fight for this truth. When you say Muslim, you cannot hear the way you cannot hear the the the, the slight mistake about Muslim. But look at Christian, you'll be yelling. When you don't hear this, you will hear that. When you don't hear that, you will hear this. And which is not good. It has been a shame to Christianity. So, there are a lot of ladies that are calling their, 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 their prophets, their, their shepherd, no matter how, either short or, or medium size, they call him daddy, daddy, daddy. And it's glad that most of these daddies have been raping these girls inside their offices, having all sort of memorials and affairs with these girls. And as they calling them daddy, 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 what is it? What's going to be the result of this? The problem? result is this. I have told us earlier 
according to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 23, starting from verse 7 to 8 to 9, he said, don't call anybody your teacher. The only teacher you have is what? Is Jesus. Don't call anybody in the world your father. The only father you have is Almighty God. All these guys are calling this, their Danko, uh, sorry, sir, sh shepherd, calling them daddy, daddy. And most of them have been relating them, uh, sleeping with them in secrecy. A shepherd that has more than 10 girlfriends hanging around, even in the church, is dating people and, and they're calling him daddy, daddy, daddy. What I just want to tell you in this case, all of them are going to a lake of fire. Lake of fire. They are going to lake of fire because they are deceiving each other. Mm. Because devil is playing with devil. Fire is playing with fire. And did you see a comfort in that mix? They have been playing with sin. Daddy, they are calling daddy. You are deceiving yourself. You know you are deceiving the congregation. By sleeping with a sister, a single sister, a single mother. You are sleeping with a marriage woman. And they are still calling you daddy. You are faking it. When they don't repent, they are playing with air fire. The end is air fire. He said, after death is judgment. And anybody that died, there is no repentance in the graveyard. No repentance in the graveyard. After the owner of a, a the owner of a of a living soul collects collects his bricks, the rest is judgment. Last year, sir, you give the prediction that fake prophets will be exposed and disgraced. And before the end of the year, we heard about one popular church in Akure, one Sotito Bire church by one Alpha Baba Tunde, uh, who is the, the man that used to go, he used to hit people's head, he's doing miracles, he's hitting their head very hard. Some people, he pushed them down. In one of the prophecies, he was even telling people to use handkerchiefs to touch his chest. That, to have a bowl of you, to have a then eventually a woman said she took her child to his church a couple actually mm -hmm. and the child was number 87 among the kids in the child department with 14 pastor ushers then during the prayer the woman said she went to look at her child but she discovered that they've changed the way her child was sitting they've given the child bones and she told them ah please so my child's food is inside the park who gave my child bones so they collected the bones. Those children have been eating the bones. They now quickly take the food from the park and started giving. So the woman went back to the church and she was trying to go back again. They now said the pastor uh, Alpha himself now said they should pray one prayer that we you could did you for thirty minutes. Then she oh did you could only December. Eventually, when they will you after thirty minutes, when the woman went to the Sunday school, the child had disappeared. Ah, she doesn't. Where's my child? They say she'll be looking for the child among 200 children that are in that department. Then eventually, she started raising voice, raising voice, raising voice. They say, oh, that 14 of them went to one of the 14 of the ushers. Then eventually, she started crying. Then she said at the time when the man got to know about it, the man was no now saw her husband. Yeah, oh my long way. Ah, ah, oh my yeah. Go am I there? Well, they started looking for the child. Two days, three days, four days. You know, even. At the time, the man and his mom, the father of the child and the mom went there. They said they beat the father and the, uh, and the grandma. And till today, they've not seen that child. The SSS has arrested the man. Then at the time, they went to burn down the church. There are a lot of things going on. That is the child missing? Who stole the child? In a church that has 14 pastors, shepherd, eh, ushers, and in a kindergarten that is well secured. So, sir, what do you think about this kind of situation? He said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. When you look at what has happened, it is not new to me again. It is what the Lord has said last year, 2019. And this year again, I said the three things the Lord has that, 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 that said to me. I said this year is a year of reward for those that wait upon the Lord. I say second things. What the Lord said to me, He said, He will expose them the more. He will expose them. He will expose them the more. And they were going to be rainbow. It will be as if that Jesus is coming. There will be going to be a storm again, a, a brief of storm. And when there will be a big rain, very soon is coming, a big storm. And there will be a rainbow. And they will think that Jesus Christ is coming. And the coming of Jesus is near the door. 
But the last thing the Lord said to me, he said, who is your strength? That's why he gave me that strong, uh, this strong verse, Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength in the time of trouble. Who is going to be your strength when you are in trouble? Apart from the pastor in Akresa, there's another prophet in uh, Ikuile who also used a, a, a last student to do money ritual for her boyfriend and the mother. The boy used style to take the girl into the bush with the pastor. He's a prophet, he's a killer and survival prophet. He killed the girl, removed her heart to do as he did for the mother of the boy and the boy for money ritual. I mean, and it's also in the paper they were arrested now, the case is going on. Is he also part of this uh, revelation and disgrace of false prophets? Yes, it's a part of it. The Lord has shown me all these things. He said all the people that they have been calling my name that I don't call, he said they are antichrist. An antichrist has mixed to the church of God. When you see big congregation and they have been doing a lot of miracle, God is not a magician. He's a miracle working God. Antichrist has entered the church and the people have been giving their head to the antichrist. Who is your true shepherd? Did you want to take the almighty God as your true shepherd, your strength? Or you want to take antichrist as your shepherd? All the people you are seeing, they are antichrist. According to the book of John, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. He said, anyone that does not say, that, 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 that does not call the name of Christ Jesus, and that does not believe in the name of Christ Jesus, they are not of him. They are antichrist. There are a lot of him. They are antichrist. All the people you are seeing prouding in the church of God, sleeping with a sister, doing arrogance to their, to their senior pastor, to their leader they have left in the church. Look at what has happened. Some pastor, young pastor you are seeing, they will leave a local church that they are going. And when you can't remember in the church that they are going, maybe you want to go and know much about them. The church will have about 60 members. But when they want to go and start their own, start their own ministry, you will be seeing about 500 congregation. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of anointing is that? That is Antichrist. It is not of God. You call it GBT anointing. That is GBT. It is not of God. Every anything the Almighty God is about to do, He will do it steadily, slow and steadily, slow and steadily, slow and steadily. Slow and steadily. Do you remember the story of Moses when God wants to call Moses? He called Moses, and Moses disagrees. He said, "He pursue Moses." He said, "Moses, I am the God of your father." Moses reviews, and God return. God returned to lake, uh, he turned to fire in the bush, and Moses was burned before the Lord. He said, "This is his true God." It was spoken to me. Some people does not listen. They does not hear the voice of God from anywhere. They will say the Lord called them. The Lord called them. Who called you? Who is your caller? Who is your God? There are so many gods, but we have God. So many gods are out there. So many God. So many series of God. So many series of uh, fake prophets. So many series of antichrist. So many series of fake lying. From so many series of lying tongue. They can speak English like our world. They can speak English like. Nigerian Jakes. They can speak English. They say that like Wale like, but they are not of God. They are not of God. If you want to know the people that they are come from God, you will see humbleness. If you don't have the spirit of humbleness, humility, if you don't have the spirit of love, and you don't have the spirit of giving your life to Christ, you don't preach the coming of Jesus. Salvation. You don't preach the you don't preach a preach of salvation. You are not you are not of God. You are Antichrist. Antichrist has begun to deceive people in the world. Antichrist has mixed into the into the into the into the true shepherd. By their fruit, we shall know them. 
according to the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 13, he said, by their fruit, we shall know them. You will know them whether they're, whether they're speaking, whether they're speaking in tongue. Some people they can't speak in tongue, they will not call the name of Jesus Christ. They will not call the, the name of the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. They will be speaking in tongue, speaking in tongue, speaking in tongue. They will use tongue for the congregation. They will not mention the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I want you to call your attention to some men of God now. Like today now, we have interviewed a lady who came out to tell us about one, uh, is he evangelist or pro prophet, prophet, a fallen show Macaulay, that used to have an affair with her. And uh, that he would take her to hotels, camp her in the hotel, have sex with her. And after having sex, we go into a crusade and tell her to stay in the room. And uh, he will go and minister, and he will be telling the congregation that I'm on I will not have any more. I lay new, and we collect money and all that. Then later we come back from the crusade and see sleep with her again, and the situation kept going on from places to places, from crusade to crusade. She's always his mistress in the hotel, and he was secretly married to another woman in Ibadan and all that. So it was last year that this revelation also came out, and we decided to speak with the lady today. What do you have to say about people like this who go around going to crusade, having mistresses hang in their hotel, even calling women to come and meet them in the hotel? Tell them they have already lost a real gospel. They have lost a, a, a false relationship. A false relationship matter with God. Your false relationship, if you have mixed it, God will depart from such of that from the life of that person, and the devil will start manipulate using him, and that is antichrist. This kind of prophet is antichrist now. It is not a real prophet again, because it has left a false relationship of God. If you have left your relationship from God, and if you are putting a body of flesh, a body of fornication. You need to go back to your first relationship with God. with God. Go and ask for forgiveness. Because this kind of prophet that you are talking about, it is not a real prophet again. It has become an antichrist for the devil. It has been an instrument for the devil. Except he go back to his maker. Except he go back to that first love to go and pardon and to go and beg for forgiveness. If it is not, if, if, if it is not do that, it's going to fall again and it's going to die. Simply just like die, perish. It will die like a chicken. Go and go and watch it. If it is not repent, if it is not going to meet his God, it is not go back to that first love that the God has given to him. Because Every one of us, we all have our first love. Because what I see in all these prophets, they are antichrist. They are no more a prophet of God again. They are no more a real son of God again. They have mixing up with the world. And the world has mixing up with them. And not only that, they have been joining all these Abalix people, Uncutty people, and they have joined the powerful people in, in the world. And they have been thinking that nobody can query them. Anything that they do, they do it. Nobody can query them. You can talk about she wants to come She won't want that. Then it's only that job. The one that will judge the world. With what? With fire. He said he's going to test it all our work with fire. He's going to test it all our work with fire. He's going to test all our work with fire. What can we say when Jesus calls us? What can we say when he tells us to, to come to give a, uh, account for what we have done? What can we say? He said, what profit a man that gains the whole world that loses his soul? He said, what profit a man 
the gates of your world that loses so he says sing forth the kingdom of God and his righteousness all these shepherds all these prophets they are not sick they don't seek for the kingdom of God again all they are after for them to collect money for the people to, to rope them and to sleep with people to lie for them that they never married and they are see this and they are see that where did you see it in the Bible where did you read it about Paul and John and Peter and Philip and Amos and Silas that you see them chasing about women they are doing the work of God with love, with signs and wonders. They shoot themselves to two. That time there was no church. It was just a mountain that they would gather people. In mountain, in the desert, they would gather people in the bush and they would be preaching. They would go to villages. No church in those days. God said that in the book of John, he said, I send them to two. I don't know why you will see churches all over the world. No job. No empowerment. Look at what they turn school to. All this big, big church we are looking onto. A poor man, a poor children cannot go to their university. A poor children cannot go to their secondary school. What, are we, what have we turned Christianity to? Christianity is not be a game center that anybody can go there and do whatever he like. No P man, no, 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 no teacher that is going to that is going to train some pastor that is going to tell them what to do. No agency, no no, no agency, no teacher, no regulation, no regulation, no P man. Just the misbehave. They will just go and open a shop and start churches. Sir, but is it good for a pastor to invite a lady inside the hotel that he want to give her a prophecy? She come and meet him in either Santos Hotel or in a Lesoke Hotel in Ota or somewhere. So is it good for a man of God to be inviting a lady into a hotel to give her a prophecy? It is not good. A lady that is not your wife. How are you reinviting that kind of lady to, to a, an hotel? This is what I said. The anger of God is coming very soon. To the son of disobedient. All these pastors you are seeing, they have disobeyed God. You are just seeing all this congregation. I am just pitying them. The mass of congregation. The mass in congregation. I am pitying them. Because they are think that they, they are they are they have think that they have, have a good shepherd. They don't know that the shepherd they are think that it's, it's, it was God. It 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 was, it, it, it it is from God. It's an antichrist. That shepherd it is not of God. The shepherd that is jumping, 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 and jumping from one woman to another, jumping from one woman to another. If you are a single, we can still listen to that. If your wife died, we can still listen to that. If you don't have wife at all, we can still listen to that. We can still say maybe we want to marry that sister. That is why you are looking for a wife to be, a wife to marry. But you have half your children and you have half wife. You have half your woman at home. And you are still faking it, still lying for some woman that you never married. Things like that used to happen to me. Some people will say, Pastor, are you still single? Are you see this? I will tell them that, uh, what did you need? I am not single, even though I am single. I will not tell you that I am single. I will not look for my wife, not on the internet. I will not look for... I will not look for a wife uh, to, uh, to, uh, within internet. I will not look for a wife because you are rich, I would rather ask God to give me my, my bone to bone, my heart, my, my, the, the, the heart of God. Bone of your bone. The bone of my bone. But why are we deceiving ourselves? Why are we lying? What are we using to lie to people? Some people, they will, they will, they will, they will put something in their mouth, like a foshe, like olugbonu. To speak to their congregation because of money, because of vanity upon vanity. 
I was talking to a particular somebody. He said, we have been seeing you in TV, Asabi TV. He said, Daddy, you will have a jet, you will have a plane. I said, I don't have a plane, no. I don't even have a car. The car that I am using is a old school car. I am going to village to, to Winsos. I am doing my evangelism. I, I don't gather churches. I don't gather people for money. Our program, we don't collect money. Except the people want to support our missionary. Except they want to support the, the orphanage that we have been giving food. The, 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 the lefty and the widow people that we have been giving food. I don't like to beg money. Sometimes if I want to beg, I will call some people. I will say, ah, please, I need so, so, so. I don't tell you that. Holy Spirit tell, Holy Spirit tell me to, to tell you to give me money. I just need assistance. If only you can do it for me. And I will pray for them. Some people will not give me. Some people will give me. I will not lie to them that Holy Spirit said to me that they should give me something. Except I tell them to buy Bible for me to pray with them. Or they should buy Bell. I go go Igbala. Or Mike. I will not tell anybody to give me car or to sell their houses. There's a particular mommy. That mommy said to me, he said, Pastor, Pastor, I have a particular house in Lekki. I want to sell it at uh, 150 million. Can you help me to sell it? I said, Mommy, I am not an agent. My ministry is not a ministry to sell a property. Don't sell this property. This property, don't sell it. He said, All my children they are in abroad. The way they are using the property, it is not it is not good. I want you to, to, to find a good person to help me to sell this property. I know you are a good man and you are a real man of God. I tell the mommy, I said, don't tell, don't call me a good shepherd. The only the good shepherd is God. Mm. I am working towards my salvation every day. Mm. I want to make heaven. Don't let me fake it for you. So, so far, I am a woman being. I will sin against God. What about the fake one that they cannot talk what I'm saying? They will rather hide the identity. They will, rather, they will hide it. They will hide the identity. And I told the woman, I said, I cannot sell your property for you. Go and find your agent to sell it for you. And the woman called me again. I have some cars. Some cars that I have is about 15. Can you sell it for me, pastor? I will give you money. I said, mommy, I have tell you again, I cannot do it. I am not an agent. Go and meet your agent to do that for you. And he called me again. He said, I want to send 15 million to your account. Uh, why? And I don't know. And I told my wife. I said, wife, do you see what has happened? I called one of my assistant prayer partner and my assistant pastor. And I talked and I talked to them. I said, Did you see what has happened? And they are, they are saying to me, say, Daddy, please pray very well. And after four months, this woman called me. He said, Truly, you are truly the son of God. I have used three things to test you. You are not misbehaved. And later he called, he don't call me any longer. I don't see her call again. A lot of people call me, they say they want to marry me. I say, I will not marry you. So that's why I, I am telling them I have a wife. Even though I don't have a wife, I will tell them I have a wife so that I can succeed the way Paul succeed. Paul is not married. Paul succeed the race of the journey of the ministry. I want to succeed by the, by the grace of God. Because people... They carry the face of Christ, but their mind is a mind of lion. They are antichrist. They are not of God. We need to watch because this is an antichrist of the end time. Because we are the end time soldier that we, 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 we join ourselves to stand up and speak the truth to the world. We don't need to fake people. Some people will say that if they don't pay tithe and offering, they will not make heaven. If you don't pay your tithe and your offering, you will make heaven. But you need to pay your tithe. Don't misquote me, you that you are listening to me. According to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 26, it's good to pay your tithe. Not only pastor, not only to pay to the church, pay it to the Levite and to the widows and to the orphanage. That is the three people you can pay your tithe to. Don't pay it a pastor alone. I have said it again in program like this. 
people you can pay your tithe to. It is not only your pastor. It is not only the church. He can pay for the widows and to deliver it and to the orphanage. Sir, on the very last note, sir, really, what advice do you have for Christians? How do they worship God in 2020? Because a lot of Christians, there's what we call Exodus. Most of them are sitting in their churches. Some are even afraid to go to church. If you talk to people in London, people that talk to us from London, from Canada, and uh, from America, most of the advanced society who call us to talk to us, said some of them are not even going to church again because when they go to church, it's all about money or about the pastor giving them a message that is going to destroy their family or about the man of God telling them he prophecies that he's going to put them under bondage, you know, or he, he prophets that is giving them verbose, uh, highfalutin philosophy that does not match with the dictates of the Holy Spirit. So how do you think Christians should relate with God in 2020? What do they need to do to get total spiritual deliverance and genuine salvation? This is what the Lord said to me. He said to me, I should tell the whole world they should take him as in strength. The Lord is our strength. Who is your strength? That is what I'm saying. And the Lord give me a touch, a word from the word of God. Psalm 28 verse 7. Psalm 28 verse 7. We should go and read it. Who is your strength? Who are you taking as your strength? This 2020. Are you taking the word of God as your strength? Are you taking your pastor as your strength? Are you taking your shepherd as your strength? Are you taking your husband as your strength? Are you taking that your man that you both of you are fornicate outside the church or inside the church? And can you take that one as your strength? Who is going to be your strength? When Jesus came, who is going to be your salvation? The Lord said to me, he said, those that call my people, they humble themselves, and they can take me as their strength, and we save them. In 2020? In 2020, I will save them, and I will, I will cover them with my blood. Blood of Jesus? Yes, blood of Jesus. I will cover them in the book of Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. He said, what is a lamp who was laid to receive power, strength, and riches, and strength and honor, strength and power, strength and blessing and joy. Are we going to be for those who wait unto the name of the Lord? Are we going to be their strength in 2020? That is the message the Lord gave to me concerning the church of the world, concerning all over the Christian dome of the world. If they can take God as their strength, they should not take anybody as their strength. They should take the Almighty God and the Word of God as their strength. And they should know a true shepherd they can take as their true strength. He said, true of their word, they will know them. Through their, their fruit, they will know a true shepherd. If you want to take any pastor, any shepherd as your strength, pray very well. Know who is who and know who is a true shepherd. 